Hello. Hey, fellas. Welcome to another Flashback Friday with me, Scotty. I'm with this guy. Hello. Hey. <laughs> I was just doing my intro. Uh, so what so are we welcome doing? to Flashback Friday, Scotty. Thank you. Well, uh, well you, you're welcome. It is a lovely Friday Actually, today. Yeah, it is a lovely Friday. <laughs> yeah, a lovely Friday to down. flash people. <laughs> well, what are we flashing back to today, mate, on this wonderful Friday? Well, this wonderful Friday, we it's are flashing back to a Lord of the Rings, a third age. Oh, what a game that what is, a game. what a oh, game. <laughs> right, let's go to facts straight away, <laughs> yeah, Come on, yeah, tell me them, got tell me them. No faffing about it, <laughs> mate. The Lord of the Rings, the third age, my friend, yeah, is a role-playing game. Is it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've played it's that It's a uh, turn-based one as well. Turn-based. If you remember. What's uh, turn-based? Is it's that... where you take it in turns when you're fighting. Oh, right. Oh, um, okay. And it was made by EA Games. Challenge everything, Cal. <laughs> yeah. Challenge yeah. everything. <laughs> <laughs> and it came out on uh, in 2004. Yes. On the GameCube, Xbox original, yeah. and PlayStation Two. PlayStation Two, yeah. 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 Uh, so if you fellas have never played this game, you as a player have to control a group of characters that are used during the adventure. Sure. Leveling up, gaining experience from battles and quests, so you just have to keep. You just keep on all, going. You yeah. have to make sure all your party's leveling up well. Yeah. So you have to think tactically about mm. how you use characters. Yeah. So uh, as I said, the combat style is a turn-based RPG. Turn-based. Yeah. If you don't know what that this means, you can see what we mean on the video yeah. now. Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. Well, just look at that. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, what do you think of that, Scott? What? How the, did you um, find this? Yeah, how did you? I am a massive fan of it, Cal. But I think the um, the um, combat style is more of a testing kind of sort. Yeah. If you get me. Yeah. And more, it isn't more button mashing. It's more technical thinking kind of kind of stuff. There. Well, we both find button mashing a bit funner, don't we? <laughs> it is fun to just go. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your opinion on the combat style? I, like, I don't really enjoy you turn-based things. Why? When I had this, I was quite young. Yeah. And it just didn't keep me interested. Why though? But after replaying it, yeah. I quite enjoyed it. Ah, yeah. That's but sorry, man, isn't it? I wouldn't usually go for a turn-based game. No. I know some people prefer them, but I just don't. Yeah, there isn't really a lot of turn-based games now, is there? No, the newest one is probably that South Park game. Oh, yeah. I enjoyed that, that too, so. Mm, yeah. And we had that Game of Thrones game. Oh, yeah. But, yeah turn-based. But I don't really... That's a bit of a shit game. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why it's cheap and not a lot of people like it. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what console did you have this on, Sky? Well, I got the Xbox original this year. Yeah. So I thought I'd just get on there because it's cheap on Amazon. And try it out. And try it out. And it is a good game. Yeah. I don't know what you think about it, Cal. I originally had it on PS2. PS2? Yeah, as I said, when I was a lot younger. Yeah. But I recently got an Xbox original like yourself. Oh, good lad. And uh, <laughs> got it again. And that's when I played it again. And do you think it's better now you're a bit older? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think maybe back then it was based to more older people. What yeah. age rating is it? I'm not sure. Like five. Go and look on the tray, Cal. It's only a 12. It's only a 12. Yeah. <laughs> well, it isn't really... It's know, not violent, is it? gory or anything. It's just lots of flashing. <laughs> flashing? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's perfect for this. <laughs> Well, Kel, I've never completed this game, so can you tell me what actually happens, like the plot? Yeah, sure, man. Good lad. The uh, the plot yeah. involves uh, Berifor, who was the captain you've he's played He's the main this guy. Yeah. Right. Well, I don't know if he's the main guy, because more people come along, but he's the guy you start off as. Yeah. And then uh, he's travelling to Rivendell to find Boromir, mm-hmm. who's, as you know... Yeah. <laughs> One of the nine members of the Fellowship. Winter is coming. <laughs> played by Mr. Sean B. Legend. And uh, one does not simply walk into one. <laughs> Boom. Good on that one, Cal. <laughs> on his way to Rivendell, this is uh, Berathor. Yeah. He's attacked by a group of ring waves. Yeah. Ring waves. <laughs> ring waves. It's hard to say that. Ring waves. <laughs> Tongue twist. And he's almost killed. But he's rescued by a female elf named... Idriel. Whitlow. <laughs> Good sinking there. Bang tad. <laughs> <laughs> She's a servant of Galadriel. So you know who that is, don't you? Legend. Yeah, fat crazy woman. <laughs> fat crazy woman. With the water fountain that Frodo Oh, yeah. Into. Weirdo. The one that Gandalf's in love with. Is he? Yeah. yeah, so Gandalf the Grey informs him that Boromir is travelling with him and the rest of the Fellowship. 
And that they are headed in direction of Moria. Frodo made that though, didn't he? Yeah, it was he, all Frodo's he choice. That, so what's Gandalf's choice? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was Frodo's choice. <laughs> so they meet up with the rangers and dwarves right. and help Gandalf defeat the Balrog in Khazad-dûm. Awesome, movie. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. great bit of the movie. Mm, yeah. But you don't see these guys, do you? No, <laughs> you don't. He's fucking random. So they then continue through Rohan and over to Gondor to then face off with the Eye of Sauron itself and destroy it. Wow. Yeah. And you don't get to do that in any other game, do you? No. And you don't, don't get to kill Balrog or help Gandalf kill no, Balrog. Apart from regular Lord of Rings. is like the best, one of the best scenes in the movie, yeah. I think. I love it. And not a lot of games actually cover it, really. No. Really. What games do? Lego Lord of Rings. Rings <laughs> so yeah. I think that's about it, to be honest. I can't think of any And Third Age, of course. Well, we've played them all, haven't we? <laughs> we have. Right, Cal. Lastly, I have some awesome statistics for you, Oh, Cal. that's fantastic. For the GameCube version of the Third yeah. Age, it was ranked 74 out of 100, yeah? Oh. For the PlayStation, it was 73 out of 100, but Cal, oh, not too good. have a guess at how much it was out of 100 for the Xbox 72? 72? Was it? Really? No, it well, wasn't. I noticed the pattern. It was a 74 on <laughs> so GameCube. You can't just go like that. 73 on PlayStation. No. Was it... 15. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Something you banter, kid. <laughs> banter! <laughs> <laughs> what was it, man? 75 out of 100. Oh. What would you actually give the game, man? Out of 100? Yeah. I'll give 80. Comparing it with, like, all the other... Yeah, go on, yeah. All oh, right, the higher the better. <laughs> I, was, I, was I, I think that's how it works. I was this. thinking go lower. <laughs> <laughs> what, like 15? <laughs> yeah, that's why I said it might be quite good. So, Jesus. I won't give it an 80. Oh, I'd really? Give it, compare, if you're comparing it with all the other Lord of Rings games. That's true. I wasn't comparing it though. With no, games. I'd give it a 70. Really? Yeah. That's like I don't think it's the best, but I think if you're a like big fan of Lord of the Rings like us, then you can quite enjoy it, but... Mm. It's just not, not the same as like Shadow of Mordor, for example, where yeah. it's a bit free play and you get to explore Mordor yourself. What do you call that combat style in like Shadow of Mordor? In Shadow of Mordor? Is it just like a first person? Yeah, it's just called the first person. Is it first person? RPG, in it? Why is it called RPG? Role playing game. <laughs> I thought it meant the big bazooka kind of thing. <laughs> no. <You> see how <laughs> cool. <laughs> so, 80 out of 100 I got, and you said. Yes, yeah, 70. 70. So, Cal. Yeah. That is another Flashback Friday well, done. Oh, that was an uh, enjoyable Flashback it was, Friday, my friend. Third Age, it is a good game. Yeah. The combat style is different to others. I'd recommend that people try it out, especially yeah, if you like Lord of Rings. And it would be cheap on Amazon or eBay. Yeah, And yeah. if you're top Lord of Rings fans like us... you like, got to collect like it, don't you? you got to add it to your collection, yeah, yeah. So thanks for watching, fellas. Please like. Yeah. Comment. And uh, subscribe. To just game. Please. Make sure to subscribe, please. And also, if you fellas have an old game you'd like us to do with Flashback Friday, Please let us know in the comments below. Yeah. Apart from that, thanks for watching. See you in the See next you. one. Bye. Bye. Welcome, fellas, to Flashback Friday. Hey. <laughs> it's uh, just game, fellas, and today we'll be flashing back to an old but, game. But a very good game called Crash Bandicoot, the Wrath of Cortex, Cal. Oh. Do you remember this game? I do remember it, Scott. It's a pretty good game. Yeah. It was my childhood. Your childhood? Crash, <laughs> was, Crash was my childhood. <laughs> <laughs>